What's going on guys? Welcome back to Complete Tech Crew. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at this isolated multi-tool kit from Home Depot. It's currently on clearance now for $149 or right at $150. Every Home Depot I've gone to in my region and in my area has this kit, at least one or two of them. And uh, oddly enough, a bunch of the boxes are like damaged boxes, they're crushed. So I do believe you guys may be able to take one or two, take them up to the front and ask for a little more off of that initial 150 clearance price. So this one's sporting a part number of 2526-21XCH. It's kind of a mouthful there. The SKU on this one, the Home Depot SKU, is 1005-968-539. So hopefully that's in frame. I'll try to sit that in there for a second, zoom in, pause, do whatever you have to do. And I also throw it down in the uh, description below, the actual SKU there. So this kit is uh, pretty cool because it's 150 now. So this tool I bought when this... Uh, uh, multi-tool excuse me first came out this was 150 so tool only and when i bought it it came with a, a free 2.0 battery so the small 2.0 so to me that really wasn't a deal but it was new it just came out and i wanted to try it out so i do have two of these already out in the field so it is a great tool i like it but the fact that it comes with a 4.0 battery and um, the contractor back that's pretty cool keep your stuff secure clean stored away properly just in case you have it in different locations so this kit, particular kit, comes with uh, the multi-tool itself, one XC 4.0 battery, M12 charger, uh, five of those sanding sheets, the sanding pad, a uh, wood cutting blade, and a contractor bag. So not too much different than what you get with, with this one, except for the contractor bag and the, um, and the charger itself and the battery. So this one has the five sanding sheets, the sanding pad, and the wood cutting blade. This particular one is part in a part number of 2526-20. So again, guys, that H that's always there with these special buy kits for holiday promotions, I think that means holiday. Somebody said it means Home Depot, but I'm not 100% sure if that's correct. Excuse me, because I did see this kit uh, somewhere else when I was uh, in Ace yesterday. Not this kit, excuse me, another special buy label kit in a different store, and it had that H part number on there. So guys, that's something we definitely want to be looking out for. And also, it was a local distributor that had the H on the kit as well for a totally different kit. Not this one had that H on there. So I don't think it means Home Depot. I'm almost certain it means Holiday. So if anybody knows for a fact, leave it down in the comments below. So before, without further ado, let's dig right into this. Um, again, guys, always look for that special buy. That white label is what I call it. And I'm not referring to white label store brand. I'm just calling it the white label. That's just how you identify it, all right? So always check those overhead bins and bays. That's not where I found this. They got so many of these, they're all over the place. There, there were like four or five of them in my store in the front in the cages, the way they're setting up their Milwaukee stuff now and caging it off in the front of the store. I found two of these in the back with crushed up boxes um, on the clearance uh, end cap, end cap, excuse me guys. So always look out for that. Flip it around the right way. Got your little advertising media for winning something. M12 charger. Comments to myself on that one. The sanding pad. And then your sanding disc. Your 4.0 battery, which I have a fully charged one here for demonstrational purposes. So we won't really be utilizing this one. There we go. You don't need a bunch of fluff and then the tool itself. This tool compared to the other one, of course, up here, you, you know, you're going to have the toolless feature. So it has a little bit more weight to it. And it's, it's uh, definitely a, not, a lot um, heavier and more robust than uh, non-fuel M12 version. But this one definitely does have a little bit more power and you can feel it. So, yeah, good looking tool. You got and here's what they mean by the toolless feature. You can just set it down that way, that dial there, set your blade in there or whatever uh, application you're using, twist that back up into place, and then you lock it down here. So it's just that simple. It doesn't require, it doesn't require a number five hex key as to where the previous version did, which I absolutely stand by, adore, and I love this particular multi-tool. This is the old one. You can tell it's been through a lot. I have two out in the field. This is my better looking one. So sorry I didn't have nothing new to show off to you guys. 
but this is just how it looks. Anytime this goes on promotion, I still try to get one. I will not say or make up a story that I burnt one up because I haven't. These things work great. And I use them a lot uh, for PVC, like when I'm installing pedals, pedestals for access control, for gates and stuff like that. When you're installing those pedestals or you're installing anything over PVC, if that PVC is sticking up too high with the pull string or mule line or cable already in that pipe, you don't want to take a sawzall to it. There's some guys who are great with that, but I'd much rather take this, get much more of a flush cut to the concrete or whatever surface it is, and mount my apparatus over that uh, PVC with a flush cut to where whatever that uh, to whatever that physical surface is that is mounted at the top. So here's the number five. That's just basically what it is. I just buy a bunch of these Husky ones when they go on sale, and this is the use, this is my application for it. So I keep it with this tool as opposed to using the regular uh, Allen key style hex. It just, uh, this works better for me. You know, a lot more, a lot more uh, torque, and there's a lot more maneuverability with this particular tool and this, uh, using it on this particular tool as well. So great that this thing is toolless. Let's just see how much uh, battery this thing has. Probably gonna have a charge level of one, like, oh, it has two. So right off the bat, it's already on uh, level two here. So let's crank it up, like how I do mine. And again, I use these oscillators. I know you guys are wondering, what does electrician or low voltage guy, IT guy do with this tool? A ton, I do a ton with this tool. I use it a lot for, what, like I said, um, for PVC applications and stuff like that when I'm mounting or installing over, uh, over conduit and stuff like that or more so when I'm doing access control and cutting in electric strikes in the door jams and door frames. This thing absolutely works wonder. You get a, a multi-material or a metal blade and you go to work, cut, get those strikes, uh, the template in there, and you can cut those strikes in and it works really great. So we'll kind of do a sound comparison. This one goes all the way up to 12 and in increments of two. So we'll just jack it all the way up to 12. And what I noticed about this is there's less like vibration and, and less of that acute sharp sound. Excuse me guys, the jets are flying over right now. I apologize about that. Uh, it's gonna happen today because it's cloudy around here and whenever this weather kicks up around here, they get aggressive out there in the air. So sorry about that in advance guys. There's that fully charged one. So that's just like the our maximum sound when it's maxed out. So we'll do a sound comparison to, to this one compared to the previous model, the non-fuel or brushed version, which I like this. And this is a lot, uh, uh, always, almost always on promotion on that M12 end cap for M12 tools during certain uh, certain uh, quarters. You'll always find this as a free tool or purchase this, get the battery free, things like that. So I really do enjoy this tool. So let's just take a listen with this one fully uh, maxed out on 12. So you guys can definitely hear the difference. You can see like something's in there grinding around, like some popcorn seed kernels or something going on in there. So this one definitely sounds smoother and it is smoother. There's just something about the feel and the grip of this one that I've, I've become accustomed to more so than any other brand. And then the power and stuff, I have it just right. I was utilizing this one when I first utilized this one, I was slipping a little bit then I started to learn and got, uh, I started to get a little better with it once I learned the tool. So just like anything, guys, you kind of got to become acclimated to it and uh, become more proficient with that particular tool. You're not just going to get to going with it um, right away because it is different and it's a different build. So let's do a side by side, guys, and you can see how much more girthy it is. It's definitely longer. There you go. Look at the front. Let's try to get you that kind of view there if that's helping at all. Lay them down like that. Take a look like that. And then you just have certain things in certain positions. Like this is here, which is fine. This one's here. It's just I was really used to it. And then I was able to use my pinky to adjust the level if I was ever too high. But I always keep it up pretty high and then I work my way down. You know what I mean? So great tool. I do like like this one because it has the uh the toolless feature and it actually works. You just pop it up and over. Go ahead and loosen that. You slide your blade in. I'll go ahead and try to show you. So guys, we got the blade out of the packaging. Um, basically what happens is you just um, retract this back or uh, unscrew this uh, dial here or this set here. 
back a little ways. Go ahead and set our blade or whatever uh, application you're utilizing. Go ahead, set it, hand tighten it, and go ahead and compress down. And it's in there. And the more articulation and vibration the tool does, I believe, it tightens it up more. So that's how that works. And to remove the blade, it's a really simple function. Took the battery out. Just go ahead and, uh, you know, it's still tight. So you have to lift your lever up here. Go ahead, uh, pull that up as far as you can get it. And then this will be still loose. You just loosen it with like, your hand and pull that item out, whatever your application is. And I always just screw mine back in just to make sure it doesn't come out while in transport or anything like that. Then I fix that, uh, that lever back, uh, push that lever back down. You're good to go. Simple as that. All right, guys, we're gonna be taking a closer look at both tools, the uh, new M12 oscillating multi-tool, the fuel and the pre-existing multi-tool, which is the standard uh, brushed non-fuel version. This one is uh, unique because it has the tool free or the toolless feature to where you just pop this lever up and uh, set your uh, applicable blade or whatever you're utilizing, sanding pad, anything of that nature uh, into onto the tool. And then you just put that lever back down, you're good to go. This one requires a number five uh, hex key or Allen wrench style. So I just utilize this and keep this with the tool at all times. So we'll just be testing new blades, fully charged four point batteries for each tool and just testing how one performs versus the other if they both perform the same. I've utilized both in the field, both for various reasons. This one works excellent for me. I absolutely love this tool. And again, anytime it goes on promotion, I always make sure I take advantage of it. Whether it be you buy this with another tool, get a 6.0 free or buy a tool or a kit 12 uh, M12 fuel kit and you, you can choose one of these for free either this or the rotary tool which I choose as well because those are great for door applications as well so enough me rambling let's go ahead and uh, show you the difference and variations of uh, applying the, your actual blade or whatever application you're using so this one is very simple the tool free version just kind of loosen this here I just call this the dial for lack of better words Put our new, uh, and again, guys, these blades are exactly the same. Brand new wood, uh, uh, 1101. That's the part number on those, I believe. So that just slides into here like so. Just hand tighten it. And you just set your dial down. And of course, you always uh, remove and uh, replace blades with the battery uh, detached. Always detach the battery, just in case you might have an accident or a slip up. Always be safe and sorry. So there you go, smack that battery in there. We'll set that aside. Same thing with this one, except for we need the tool. So I loose, I uh, already have it a little loose, loose in there, excuse me. Then we wanna go ahead and get our blade in. And of course, naturally it's gonna take longer because we have to use the tool. So we'll set that down as much as best we can with our hands. Sorry about the frame. Go ahead and get that set. So obviously it takes a little longer and you wanna make sure it's snug up cause it will come a loose. Set that aside. Let's go ahead and get our battery in. Make sure we're good to go there. Good to go there. So let's start with our uh, the original M12 oscillator or multi-tool. So let's go ahead and just do a couple cuts. I didn't want to really cut any nails or anything like that, because really that's just contingent upon the blade, how well the blade works and stuff like that. So we'll just like dive into wood, do some of those kind of things and applications that I do, because I do a lot of flush cuts with PVC, or I do a lot of uh, recess cuts into wood to go ahead if it's like plywood or I'm uh, stabbing something into a thicker uh, piece of wood or a beam or something of that nature. So let's go ahead and get into it. So we'll turn it all the way up to 12. piece of wood like that intentionally for a lot of my demo purposes but let's go ahead in the same spot 
compared to the performance of the new M12 Fuel Multi-Tool. Already we can see that it's a lot quieter. Just make sure it get us up to 12, it'll get louder. But still not as obnoxious as the original version. And let's go ahead and go ahead and get our plunge in. It's obvious which one is more powerful and which one is more aggressive. And I mentioned that earlier when we were getting everything unboxed. It definitely is much more powerful. Let's try a couple plunges in the same region with the original multi-tool or M, uh, multi-tool, excuse me. couple tests we can definitely uh rule out any <laughs> we could definitely rule out any theory that uh the older version is better than the newer one and nobody's saying that at all it's uh this def each tool definitely has their place in their application like i said the power and the feel of the original m12 uh non-fuel version is perfect for certain applications and i'm very acclimated and accustomed to it this new one has much more power, but it also is a lot um, bigger. It has a has a different feel to it. And I don't want to say a lot, but it definitely is heavier. and has a more robust feel to it in the hand. So it's definitely something to get adjusted to. So uh, I just wanted to run a quick test for you guys. I know it was something quick and simple, not too in-depth. And I always, I always try to keep it like that for you guys. Because in the real world, there are so many different applications. So I won't hit every single one that meets you guys' needs. So I kind of just wanted to... Uh, Compare the two for you guys, show you the difference for people who are already in the line, wondering or trying to consider if there was anything different or was it worth the investment. In my opinion, it is, especially being at 150, and I have heard of some people getting them a lot cheaper than that. They've been at 150 for quite a while now, I think a month and a half. So I am sure there are some depots in certain regions that they're clearing them out much cheaper and there are so many left over. So to me, in my opinion, I think it's worthwhile. Again, guys, this one, this is a totally new one in the box that I haven't opened up yet. There is a lot more power. It is quieter. And Milwaukee is claiming that this is the fastest 12 volt cut speed um, out available, has the lowest uh, full tool vibration, and of course, tool free blade change. So consider this, guys. Hope you found this video informative. Um, let me know, give me some comments and feedbacks and suggestions for future videos formats or anything of that nature. And again, guys, it's Complete Tech Crew spelled with a K. Please consider subscribing, liking, and all that good stuff. Thank you guys so much. Be positive. Be blessed. Peace. Peace.